Okay, good day, Andrew from uh, Meandering Monarchs. As you could probably tell, not much meandering going on at the moment. I uh, had a week out, six days in fact, um, complete reverse shoulder replacement on the right hand shoulder. There's 30 staples in there. Um, yeah, recovery's going really well. Uh, like I said, it's only been six days and I was pretty much pain free. Um, more or less when I left the hospital after two nights. Um, I took a couple of Panadol last night before I went to bed and I'll probably take a couple of Panadol tonight and some anti-inflammatories just to you know, get me off to sleep basically. But talk about very little pain. Um, pretty happy with the whole thing. It's going terrific. Um, supposed to be in the sling for four weeks so I can take it off when I'm exercising bathing um, just sitting in the chair as long as I'm not moving my shoulder uh, using the muscles I can move my shoulder passively so my wife's helping me with um, exercises keeping the, the movement in my shoulder uh, and look I can I can move it um, when Sharon helps me move it there is absolutely no pain. I'm completely relaxed and letting her do all the movement, and it's terrific. Um, yeah, I, I'm impressed, and I'm now on the list to get this shoulder done because um, it's pretty buggered as well. But I don't know if you can notice. I'll chuck a couple of photos in. But before my operation, this shoulder used to be kind of in. To my neck and up because the rotator cuff muscles are at the top of the shoulder uh, and wrapping around the front of the shoulder were non existent. They full, full thickness tears, and yeah, my shoulder would kind of hook up like this, and that's you know basically how I got around. So now, with the put the ball on the glenoid, which is the scapula, shoulder blade, and the humeral side is now the socket so instead of being like that it's like imagine a golf ball on a golf tee and it's kind of like that now so this arm's about an inch longer than this one but this one will match it <laughs> in 12 months or something when I have it done um, yeah look if anybody's thinking about or has the opportunity to discuss and seriously consider complete reverse shoulder. I mean, it doesn't work for everybody. Um, if you've got your rotator cuff intact, you're probably better off to go with, at this point anyway, to go with a, an anatomical shoulder replacement, which means they replace the ball with the ball, they replace the socket with the socket, they don't reverse it like they have in this case. Um, but if your rotator cuff is damaged to the point where it cannot be repaired and there's no other surgical options, go with the reverse replacement. It, it really it feels better now, and this is only six days in, than it did prior to the operation. Um, yeah, I'm not moving it a lot, but I can just tell I have no pain. Um, you know, before I used to be constantly in pain, couldn't sleep with it. I've got myself in the spare room at the moment with a bunch of pillows. Um, and as long as I've got, if I'm laying on my back, I've got a, a fairly thick pillow under my right shoulder. I can comfortably sleep on my back. I've never been able to sleep on my back before. Um, and also, if I roll onto my left-hand side, as long as I've got a big pillow next to me on the left hand side that I can when I roll over I can rest my wrist on or my fist depending on how I'm laying um, yeah absolutely no pain basically taking the stress off the muscles um, completely relaxed absolutely no pain I'll actually sleeping through the night I've slept through the night probably 
two nights in a row um, where I've only woken up the once to go to the toilet and that is unheard of for me. I'm usually up and down like a yo-yo, uh, awake half the night, tossing and turning, trying to get comfortable, just purely from the pain. But I'll tell you what, reverse replacement, complete total reverse replacement is something that if you uh, have damaged rotator cuff and you're constantly in pain, um, yeah, they try not to do it on um, younger people, but I mean, I'm only 60 and it got to that stage where the doctor agreed, now's the time to do it. Uh, we've done it and I tell you, uh, I'm not going to take a backward step. This is the best thing I think I've ever done. Anyway, there'll be a few photos and a couple of links to videos uh, in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description. So yeah, feel free. I might even include a link to an actual operation. I'll either do the blood and guts version or maybe the um, animated version. Um, but I think the blood and guts version is more accurate. And it might put people off, but I'll tell you what, it's well worth it. Uh, I had a nerve block um, put in my neck. And from the moment they put the nerve block in, my right arm was completely dead. I couldn't raise it. I couldn't move it. I could couldn't touch my fingers together or, or anything like that until the nerve block wore off and that was probably going to say a little bit over 24 hours and then when it did wear off the pain was minimal and controlled with um, the push your own button medication thing um, and the odd Panadol and a couple of well not a couple of, one uh, anti-inflammatory each night while I was in hospital and I've taken anti-inflammatories at night before I go to bed um, just to get over, you know, to get to sleep basically but I think in, for the major painkillers, these puppies I've only had two out of this and I think one of those was just prior to leaving hospital so, yeah, I think I took one on the first night as well. Magic. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do more updates as we go. Here's a bit of a look at the 30-odd staples. Yeah, alrighty. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe. Hit the like. And hit the notification bell. Thanks again. Bye.